Republicans are backing measures that will require photo identification and other uh, type of things, including cutting the number of days for early voting. Republicans say it will cut down on voter fraud. Critics contend it's a step backwards and it would dis discriminate against the poor, elderly, students, people with disabilities and minorities. Joining me to explain why Democrats are against this move is the chair of the Democratic National Committee, Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. We're glad you're here in Washington. Thank Watch. you, Rowan. Great to be here. Uh, your home state, uh, Governor Rick Scott, is leading one of these efforts. And for the life of me, I, I don't understand whenever I see Republicans or even Democrats contesting votes and things along those lines. We talk about this is the fundamental right to be Americans, but to put roadblocks up to, to, for voting makes no sense to me. Well, I mean, if you go back to the year 2000, when we had an obvious disaster and, and saw that our voting process needed refinement, and we did that in the America Votes Act and made sure that we could iron out those kinks, now you have the Republicans who want to literally drag us all the way back to Jim Crow laws and literally and very transparently block access to the polls to voters who are more likely to vote for Democratic candidates than Republican candidates. And it's nothing short of that blatant. Now, Georgia has a voter ID law that was passed, and the Obama Justice Department, they actually approved that particular law saying it would not impact a minority of voters. But other states are looking to, to put into place a voter ID laws. Uh, your, the DNC's position on those voter ID laws? Well, photo ID laws, we think, is, are, are very similar to a poll tax. I mean, you look, just look at African-American voters as a snapshot. About 25 percent of African-American voters don't have a valid photo ID. I mean, and, and the reason it's similar to a poll tax is because you've got the expense, you've got the effort, uh, that there's uh, difficulties for, for many people in getting a photo ID. So you're literally just throwing a barrier in the way of someone who's trying to exercise their right to vote. And the reason that it's not necessary is because we already have very legitimate voter verification processes, signature checks that are already in place, and there is so little voter fraud, which is the professed reason that Republicans are advancing these, these laws, there's so little vo voter fraud. I mean, you're more likely to get hit by lightning than you are to see an instance of voter fraud in this country. But Republicans are imposing laws all over the country, acting like it's voter fraud is rampant, and it's ridiculous. I spoke of the uh, efforts by Governor Scott in Florida, uh, and you have many third-party groups uh, who are saying, look, uh, if we're going to be fined uh, based upon some of these laws, we're not going to do any right. registration at all. League of Women Voters, they they've down. said we're not doing it. This that's is right. a major group that's out there trying to register people to vote, a nonpartisan, independent group. Rick Scott, the Republican governor of Florida, as part of his election reform law that he just pushed through the legislature, literally said to third party groups of registered voters, we're going to fine you $1,000 per voter if you don't turn the voter registration form in within 48 hours of registering So if voter. you have some 10,000 um, folks' names on forms, if it's not turned in 48 hours... That's $10,000. You're looking at a massive $1,000 per voter? Per voter. So, of course, the League of Women Voters said we're not registering voters in Florida anymore. And, and look, Roland, there, there are going to be lawsuits over laws that disenfranchise voters and that are deliberately trying to block access to the polls for certain voters. So, I mean, we, we, we see through what they're trying to do. They say they're trying to prevent voter fraud. There really aren't very many instances of voter fraud.